guys, welcome back to Trending on Enyola Badmos TV. Here are the trending stories for today. Nicki Minaj breaks internet with pregnancy pictures. Kanye West reviews he's been trying to get a divorce from Kim for two years. Glee star Ethel Mori pays tribute to Naya Rivari. <laughs> Rapper Nicki Minaj broke the internet on Monday as she dropped pictures of her pregnancy, showing that she's expecting a baby with her husband. Nicki Minaj is going to be a mom and the Trinidad Bond rapper dropped a bombshell on the internet on Monday with the announcement of her pregnancy. The star took to Instagram to share four separate and glamorous maternity portraits of her baby bomb and the news that she and her husband, Kenneth Petty, were expecting their first child together. In the first image simply captioned Pregas, Minaj can be seen cradling a baby bomb while wearing a patchwork Swarovski crystal embellished ensemble by Lacey Dalimont, a platform eel and a neon wig. Another photo was captioned, love, marriage, baby carriage, overflowing with excitement and gratitude. Thank you all for your well wishes. The rapper 37 also enlisted famed American photographer David LaChapelle to photograph her wearing a white cozy dress by Greek designer Depesta. The gown, which boasted a cutout in the center to display Minard's pregnant figure, was paired with a crystal beaded floor-length veil that was custom-made by Lebanese designer Dodges Obeika. In May, the singer sparked pregnancy rumors when she revealed that she had been experiencing common pregnancy symptoms. When fans asked if she would share photos of her baby bomb, she replied, Yeah, in a couple of months. The world aren't ready. The pregnancy news comes nine months after the super bass hit maker confirmed a marriage to Petty. Minaj took to social media on October 21st to share the relationship update writing Onika Tanya Maraj Petty, 10 along with an emoji of a bride, a groom, a teary smiley face, hand claps in prayer, and a pink bow. The couple made their romance official in December 2018, and their romance proved controversial among fans when news emerged that Petty 42 had been convicted of attempted rape in 1995 and later spent seven years in prison for manslaughter. While still a minor teen, Petty was convicted of the attempted rape of a 16-year-old girl. After serving time, he remains a level 2 registered sex offender in New York State. Additionally, court documents obtained by the blast showed that he pleaded guilty in Queens in 2006 to a manslaughter charge for fatally shooting a man named Lamont Robinson in 2002. He served seven years in prison and was released in May 2013. Anyway, we wish Nicki Minaj safe delivery and of course, congratulations in advance to the couple. <laughs> Kanye West last night sensationally claimed that he has been trying to get divorced from Kim Kardashian since she met his fellow rapper Mick Mew at the hotel. In his latest rambling Twitter outburst, West said Kim was out of line to meet Mick Mew to talk about prison reform and blasted her mother Kris Jenner while accusing the pair of white supremacy. West also repeated his claim that his wife and mother-in-law had tried to fly in two doctors to have him hospitalized amid concerns about his well-being after his bizarre entry into the presidential race. Chris and Kim put out a statement without my approval and that's not what a wife should do. Kanye West said after reports that the Kardashians were infuriated by his latest antics. The 43-year-old deleted his late-night post barely half an hour after posting them, except for a final post in which he signed them off as coming from the future president. Sources told The Sun that Kim and Kanye are already living apart and have been at each other's throats with daily bus stops during lockdown. Kim 39 earned glowing praise from McMill for her work on criminal justice reform last year, when the rapper held her for doing a lot of work on the issue. Both attended a criminal justice reform summit in LA in 2018, but it was at the Jeremy Hotel rather than the Wadoff in Beverly Hills, which Kanye appeared to be referring to, leaving the nature of the meeting unclear. Here is a tweet from Kanye West. They tried to fly in with two doctors to 5150 me. I have been trying to get divorced since Kim met with Mick at the Wadoff for prison reform. I got 200 more to go. This my lady tweet of the night, Chris John on Lee Baby, my favorite rapper but won't do a song with me. Guys, what do you think? Is this trouble in paradise? We keep our fingers crossed for more as we all know how Kanye West can be. <laughs> Ilda Morris was seen dancing to pay a heartwarming tribute to her Glee co-star Naya Rivera whose music and her voice will forever be missed. 
On Monday night, Morris opened up about a grieving process on Instagram after the death of her close friend, Rivari, who died from accidental drowning after she disappeared at Lake Piro in California on July 8th. The 33-year-old actress shared a touching video of herself gracefully dancing along to Rivari's song, explaining that that was one way she's dealing with the loss. She wrote, I have felt it hard to feel joy or keep busy when mourning without thinking that you're not honoring that person or you're forgetting about them. But Obi underscore Woodshop reminded me that honoring someone can mean you're enjoying your life for them, she wrote on Twitter. She continued, I am celebrating one million today in a tribute to Naya Rivera with her music and a voice that will forever be my favorite. Maurice, who portrayed cheerleader Bethany S. Pierce, the close confidant and love interest of Rivari's Santana Lopez on Glee said in the lengthy Instagram post on Friday that she still speaks to Rivera every day because she knows she is still with her. Guys, those are the stories we have for you today. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola Badmos TV before you go. See you soon.